Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to assemble the version 2 crumble bot. Now, we're going to start by attaching the caster to the front of the robot. So I'm just going to pop that ball out of there, leave it in my bowl. And I found the easiest way to do this is to turn the robot upside down and actually drop these two round-headed bolts through the caster first. So I'm just going to drop each one in, like that, and then, picking the robot up, just drop them through the two holes. And I'm also going to use some blue tack to hold them in place. I found that makes this a little bit easier. If you don't have blue tack, it doesn't matter, it just means you'll have to hold them in place with your hand rather than like this. So another blob just over the other bolt. Make sure that doesn't move, and then I can just turn that over. And I'm going to take these nuts and just get them started on these on these threaded bolts. Again, this can be a bit fiddly, so take your time. And once they're on there, there's no need to tighten them up, we'll tighten them up from the back. So we take the blue tack off, and then, just with a screwdriver, hold the two nuts in place with your fingers, and just tighten those up a bit. They don't need to be super tight, they just need to not rattle. And once that's on there, you can just pop that ball back in. Now, next we want to attach these short brass pillars to each one of these contacts that's going to hold the crumble chip. So to do that, we're going to take these short screws and drop them in from the back, and then hold them in place and screw them on from the front. Again. We don't need to do them up tightly with our fingers, we'll do that with a screwdriver from the back. So again, just drop the screw in from the back, hold it in place, and screw the, the pillar on. Now, before we tighten them up, I'm going to do the rest, but to make my life a little easier, I'm going to drop all the screws in here, and including these two at the bottom and then I'm going to tape them in place so that they don't move around. So now that all these, all these screws are in place, I'm just going to take a roll of tape and use that to hold them in place. Now, if you don't have any tape, it doesn't matter. You'll just have to do the screws one at a time rather than all together. I think I've just pulled a few out. That's okay. Put them back in. And drop that tape over them. Press it down. And then another piece on the other side. And then we can turn it over and we're ready to attach the pillars to those bolts. So here we go. Again, they don't need to be really tight, just as long as they don't rattle.
Now these last two pins here are actually for holding this battery pack and they use the longer silver pillars. Okay, now that they're all in there, we can take the robot over, take off the tape, and then just go along each screw, making sure they're nice and tight. And now we can attach the crumble chip onto these columns. And again, I'm going to place the screws in first, and I find that opposite corners are quite useful because they hold the chip in place. So I'm going to do the top left one, and I wouldn't do it up too tight because we're going to need to move it around a little bit to make sure everything else fit. And then the bottom right one. And now we can drop in all the other ones. And now we can just go through and make sure everything's tight. Now, before I put the battery pack on, I'm just going to peel off this dust cover from the buzzer. Now, I found the easiest way to attach the battery pack is to do one screw move it into position, and then put the other screw in later. So I find the best way to do this is just to put the screwdriver into the screw first, and then drop it down onto the robot. And then just pick up and rotate that battery pack until you can see the pillar underneath it. Then you can drop the screw in. And put the last one in. Again, just make sure they're nice and tight and not rattling. And now we can put the batteries in. Remember the uh, the flat end. The flat end of each battery goes against the spring. So flat end against the spring, and then the other way, flat end against the spring, flat end against the spring. And now finally, clip the wheels on. Now these wheels go onto axles with a flat, a flat part. So you need to make sure that the flat part of the hole matches up. Now the last thing I'd like to do is attach these yellow jumpers to these pins here. Now the idea is that they always connect across the pins, never down them. So for example, if I wanted to connect A to the line sensor, I would take one of these jumpers and just clip it on and push it down until it clicks. And I'm going to do the same thing for all the others now. So I'm going to connect pin B to the buzzer by just pushing down. Yeah. 
And then, if I want to make use of these LEDs, these lights, on the front of the robot, I have to use pin D. So you see there it says LEDs, and I'm just going to put my jumper next to that. And that's connected. And finally, pin C, I will also connect to the line sensor. So that's down there. If you want to make use of the LEDs uh, in the Crumble software, they're called Sparkles. And do look at other videos on our channel because we give you instructions on how to use them and do line following and a few other fun things.